Jane, I have a question. What's this word? Hmm? This word here. K-I-S-S? -S? Oh, you should know that one. K-I-S-S -S is kiss. And what does that mean again? <laughs> Let me see if I can offer a definition. Or better yet, a demonstration. What's wrong? We're not alone. In the Waziri village. <sighs> I suppose one can't expect engraved invitations out here. Good for Basuli. When is the wedding? Tomorrow. <gasps> oh, well, of course, we'd be honored to attend. Oh, there's so much to do. <laughs> Whatever does one wear to a Waziri wedding? Oh, what a wonderful opportunity this will be for us to experience more of Waziri culture. Oh, sure, sure. Assuming we get there instead of becoming some predator's feast. Save your crying for the ceremony, tough guy. <sighs> oh, I do hope they like our wedding gift. It's a nice gift. They'll like it. Yeah, but perhaps it's a bit much. Do you think... Well, what if it's not enough? Do the Wazir even give wedding presents? Jane, they'll like it. It's not that simple, Tarzan. Every culture has its own customs and traditions, and if we don't honor Waziri traditions, we risk offending the entire tribe. We could ruin the wedding. <laughs> this is one tradition I could definitely do without. Lovely. Halt! This is a Waziri celebration. Outsiders are not welcome. Muviro! These are my friends. They were invited. Please excuse Muviro. He is very cautious. Congratulations, Basuli. It's good to see you. I hope we're not late. Late? Oh no, I can't be late. You're not late, Basuli. Just a little nervous. <laughs> It's true. I have never felt this way before. Everyone gets anxious before their wedding. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> yes, yes. Quite right. The day I married Jane's mother, I was a blithering basket case. Couldn't stop talking. Nervous habit, you know. <laughs> Just kept yammering on and on about whatever popped into my noggin. Uh, Daddy? Scones. All I could think about that day was scones and jam. Wouldn't mind a spot of some right now, actually. That would be good, wouldn't you? Anyone for scones? Being married is nothing to be afraid of. Being married does not worry me. Getting married is the problem. Why? What is a Waziri ceremony like? You will see. Oh, boy. Here I go. It hasn't even started. Basul is a lucky man. My friends, when they were just babies, my son Basuli and Nao were promised to each other for marriage. Now the time has come to bind them together. If, and only if, Basuli proves that he is man enough to take a wife. In accordance with Waziri custom, Basuli must face a challenge. Oh, my goodness! Excuse me. <laughs> Please, uh, proceed. Basuli, you are not just any young man. You will one day be chief. You must be challenged accordingly. Journey to Mount Tumbai. Take a feather from the eagle that nests there and return to the village before the setting of the sun. If you fail, it is a sign that you are not worthy to marry Nao, your betrothed. You may choose one person to accompany you on your quest. I choose Taza. It should not be allowed. He is an outsider. It is acceptable. Tarzan, will you go? 
I will. Please, do not be offended. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be back soon. I'll worry anyhow. But I'm more concerned about Bazuli and Nao. Doesn't this quest seem a bit unfair? But it's their custom. And didn't you say we must respect it? I did indeed. Thank you for reminding me. Good luck. I have every confidence that you will return by sunset with the feather. I will do my best. is strong. There's a place to cross. There. they get back in time yes of course it's fascinating customs though isn't it a race against the clock where the stakes couldn't be higher uh, you know I wouldn't do well under that kind of pressure no offense pal but you don't do well under any kind of pressure excuse me uh, forgive me for intruding now oh but how are you holding up I have faith that this will all work out for the best. Yes, traditions are extremely important, even if they do seem a bit unfair. Were you and Tarzan promised to one another by your families? Oh, no, no, that's not our custom. I was a proper young lady from a good English family, and our custom was for me to marry a proper young English man. <laughs> the very idea of Jane Porter socializing with a wild man. <laughs> But when I got on the boat to go back to England, I, I finally realized what I wanted. To spend the rest of my life with Tarzan. So I jumped back into the ocean and I swam back to him and I didn't care a whit what anybody said. So you defied the traditions of your tribe? Yes, I, I suppose I did. But Tarzan is worth it. So is Basuli. Why should I give him up? Wait! Oh, oh, no sense in running off half-cocked! Oh, please come back! This could not be going any worse. Then it can only get better. That doesn't sound better. Not better at all!
fate would have it, this is not my day. Maybe it's not up to fate. I want to see where that stampede began. Those rhinos were not the only ones on this mountain. There is no time to consider such riddles. We must find that eagle. I am going to tell Kehwazi just what is wrong with this tradition. But please now, don't be hasty. You know, when I get mad, I stop and I count to a hundred. Let's try it together, shall we? <laughs> One, two, three. Kehwazi, we need to talk. Not necessary, you're a busy man. I'm sure I can wait till later. What is the subject of this talk? Basuli's quest. I am going to marry Basuli, whether he returns with an eagle's feather or a badger's tail or, or nothing at all. Ooh, a family blowout. You reject the traditions of our tribe? If the traditions keep me from the man I want to spend my life with, yes. I'm sure she means that in only the most respectful way. <gasps> I cannot stake my future upon some silly feather. Jane taught me that. Oh, dear. <laughs> this just keeps getting better. If you will not adhere to a Siri tradition, then there will be no marriage at all. <gasps> you can't do that. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. I actually do have the utmost respect for the Waziri traditions, as does Nao, right? No. Now, Kibasi, you're both upset. Understandably so. You know, at times like this, I like to stop and count to a hundred. Here we go. One, two. Take down these decorations. There will be no wedding. <laughs> what is this place? I'm not sure. An elephant's graveyard. Oh no! Entering an elephant's graveyard brings the worst luck! Then we'll make our own luck. You may not share the beliefs of my people, but I do. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Look! The eagle! You speak to animals. Ask it to come down here. My eagle is a bit rusty. We'll have to go after it. There must be a way around this place. We'd never get back by sunset. <sighs> I do not have a good feeling about this. I knew this was bad luck. May as well be. See if you can stand. Why bother? It is obvious my marriage is doomed. Wait here. Stop! You killed Basuli! Exactly. Wait! Moviru? Explain yourself. For my whole life, I have lived in your shadow. You trained to become chief. You were betrothed to the most beautiful girl. But that stops now. When you fail to get the feather, I will claim your place. You started the rock slide. And chopped down that tree. And started the rhino stampede. How could you? I could and I did! 
Now your challenge is to get past me. Stop it, he's hurt. No! I must face him alone. Whatever the outcome, that is the Waziri way. Kawazi. Sir, I want to apologize. You see, I'm afraid that I did encourage Nao, unintentionally, mind you, to defy your customs. All a silly mix-up, really. <laughs> but the fault is mine and mine entirely, and for that I offer you my most sincere, heartfelt, and humble apologies. That is no apology. But I really mean it. Is there by chance a traditional Waziri manner in which to make a formal apology? You must not help! Give up, Basuri! No! I will bow to no man! wasn't wrong to save him, was it? No. Even Moviro does not deserve to die that way. But what you have done is unforgivable. You are hereby banished from the tribe. Go! It's almost sunset. Then we must hurry. you're back safely. Where's Jane? I believe she's still apologizing. How, how is that? You all right? Spotless. Apology accepted. Pasoli! Oh, oh, I was so worried. Did you really think I would be late for our wedding? It does not matter. Your father has cancelled it. What? I told him that I want to marry you whether or not you got the feather in time. We all got a bit excited. I am willing to allow the wedding to proceed if you have the feather. No is right. Marriage is not about feathers. It is about the commitment between two people. I will marry now, and no feather, no father, nothing can stop me. So you didn't get it? I just wanted to make a point. You are now husband and wife. <laughs> Isn't love wonderful? Get a grip. You're embarrassing me. Sorry. It's a waffle iron. Of course. Thank you. Oh, yes, Jim. Thank you very much. What's a waffle? No idea. It must be a part of their tradition.
It's nearly time for some Hakuna Matata with those grub grabbers Timon and Pumbaa, next on Disney Cinemagic. They just love bugs!